Hello everyone. So in this video, I will discuss one interesting concept of uh, integrator using OPAM. Okay. So look uh, like this is your integrator and uh, this is the input waveform, the step input. Okay. So you have to draw the output waveform of V naught and V C, the voltage across capacitor. Uh, also V negative that you also need to draw. Okay. So this is a uh, commonly asked question in interviews. So we all know for for this uh, like first it is in the negative feedback so that in this ground would come here so this would be a constant current vi by r so this constant current would charge the capacitor so whatever the charge is on the capacitor like uh, wait a minute like this is T, V, C. So first, uh, the capacitor would start char charging like this. Okay. Now, let us assume at this point, the voltage across. At this point, like uh, this is some point, and what will be what will be the output waveform? So, output waveform would be something like this. Okay. So this is V naught with respect to T. But at this time, let us assume the output saturates. So output is basically V output is basically minus VC that you all know. So let us assume at this time your output saturates. So at this time you will get minus V set. Okay. But what happens here at this time? Like, like let let me call it at T naught at T naught. But what what happens at capacitive voltage after that? what happens like as soon as the output saturate you you all know like uh, after the output getting saturate we can't apply virtual ground concept like virtual ground con concept can't be applied when there is positive feedback when opam is not ideal and third one is when output saturates v out saturates so now v output has been has saturated so we can't apply the virtual short here so here it is zero Positive terminal, terminal is at zero, but negative terminal is not at zero. Now, so now what is the condition? Like your input is fixed, V in is fixed. Okay, here R is fixed. Here you have C, and this terminal is at minus V set. This is fixed. Okay, this terminal is at minus V set. After T t equals to t naught after t after uh, for t greater than t naught i am talking about this terminal is fixed at minus v set there is no current flowing through uh, flowing through this terminal so there would be no current here okay so v in r no current here c now and this one is at minus v set so this is your condition so basically your r and c is r and c your r and c is between v in plus v set okay what is the drop between r and c v in minus of minus v set so it would be v in plus v set so basically your r and c is in v in plus v set so this v in plus v set will charge this one okay so so let us assume whatever the voltage it, it is now it would go till V in plus V set. Okay. And uh, what is the and what what about V negative? When in V negative, it was zero until the uh, saturation condition. V negative, it was zero. And at infinity, what uh, what will be the V V negative value? Minus V set. What is V C? V C is V in plus V set. So, V in plus V set minus V set. What what would be the value? V in. Like here, you can clearly see. Like this is over V negative only, na. So, like at at this terminal, if we remove this V in only, at this terminal we are having minus V set. And now this this is char charged till V in plus V set. A steady state we are talking about. So minus v set plus v in plus v set 
so it would be v in so your v negative will charge from 0 to v in let me explain it once more minus v set here and steady set charge v in plus v set here so from here if you go here what will you write minus v set plus v in plus v set simple uh, voltage uh, volt, uh, simple case will give you okay minus v set plus v in plus v set so it would be v in okay so that was some interesting concept like first it charges linearly then exponen exponentially now v v naught linear charge then saturates and v negative something like this okay thank you